everybody, Lori here from Unique in the Creek. And today I'm going to be doing a gorgeous fall flower using this gold, it's like an old gold um, deco mesh. It's really, really super pretty. It's not a bright yellow like we would use in the spring and summer, but it's a gorgeous fall gold color. Um, I'm gonna need two rolls of this, or you can use any color mesh. You could use burgundy, you can use copper, whatever fall color you want, okay? But we're using this gold color, okay? And we're also going to be using this green, this hunter green uh, for some leaves at the end. This is a hunter green horizontal striped wide, uh, horizontal wide striped mesh. Um, you'll see that this, flower is really large so you may not want to put the green uh, leaves on that is totally up to you um, and you can use any color greens I just use the the dark green because it goes nicely with the uh, gold color here okay so the first thing we're going to do is we need to preload our board actually well we should cut our mesh okay what you're gonna need is 50 six five six pieces of this gold mesh at 10 inches so you need 56 10 inch pieces of this mesh um, it is easiest to cut it on the cutting mat but you can refer to uh, our tutorials on how to cut mesh if you have a mat and rotary cutter if you don't have one um, you can wood burn uh, this mesh if you don't want to see any fray. However, we're going to be using the rolled petal and with the rolled petal You don't see very much fray So it's much easier just to cut off the fray at the end of the wreath than to wood burn 56 pieces, but if you're OCD and you don't like the, the um, Little bit of phrase that you may get you can wood burn it, but for this tutorial I have only cut it with my rotary cutter. Okay, so we need 56 10 inch pieces of this gold, which is one and a half rolls. Okay, so that's why I said get two rolls. So row one, we are going to be using the green and the green will be, I'll do last. And the reason I do the green last is because we're gonna keep moving our arm over top of our flower and it'll start to tatter the green um, so I like to do it at the end so I don't, uh, it doesn't get all frayed and everything. Okay. Row two, we are going to be using 32 pieces of that 10 inch gold mesh. Row three, we're totally skipping row three. We're not going to be putting anything on row three. Okay. Row four, we're going to be using 16 pieces of the gold and row five, we're going to be using eight pieces of the gold, which gives us a total of 56 pieces. So you do have a bit left. Um, so if you want to have your wreath even fuller, you can uh, do the normal holes on row three, and that's an extra eight pieces. So that's totally up to you. I'm just gonna do row two, four, and five, so you can see how full that is, and then you can decide um, from the picture when we're finished, uh, if you want to do row three as well. Now to preload, we're gonna preload our board. So cut your mesh, and then after you cut your mesh, you're gonna preload your board. We are gonna use row two. We are gonna use the regular holes, which are the two holes close together. So you're gonna go down and up with the zip top, zip tie head facing towards the inner part of the two holes so that when the tail goes in, you hear that zipping sound, and it locks. Okay, so you're gonna do the normal holes, and we are gonna do shared holes, which means we're gonna go from with a zip tie from here to here. All right, and do that up, again, making sure that the flat side of the zip tie head is facing between the two holes. Okay, and you're gonna continue this all the way around row two. So when you flip it over, it's gonna look like stitching all the way around. And you'll be able to see if you missed any. If there's a blank spot, obviously you missed one. 
Um, like I said, row three, we aren't doing anything. Row four, same thing as row two, we're gonna do the normal holes, go down and up. And we're gonna do shared holes as well. So this is gonna be 16. There's eight normal holes. And then we'll have eight spaces of shared holes. Okay, and that's row four. And then row five, again, we are doing the normal holes, which there's four normal holes, normal set holes. And then we're going to do four of the shared holes. Okay, so when you flip it over and you're completely loaded, you will see that the row two will be completely with zip ties. Row four will be completely with zip ties and row five will be completely with zip ties. Okay, and that's preloading your board. Next thing we're going to do is we're going to glue our cable mount onto the back of our sunflower center, okay? These are a six and a half inch or six and a quarter inch faux uh, flower center. They're really, really, really pretty. They are just styrofoam. And on the back of the styrofoam, you can hopefully see, there's a little uh, mark on the back there. That is the center of the sunflower. Now the cable mount, and the pipe cleaner work really, really well, especially when you're gluing the cable mount on because the glue kind of melts into the styrofoam. And when, once you push down, it'll melt in. Now, normally I take the, um, the rubber backing off. For the styrofoam centers, you don't need to do that because it glues so well with hot glue. Um, that it's, it's not gonna come off. So what you're gonna do is take some take your hot glue and put a dab of it right in the center. And then you're going to push down. Now you wanna push down with the wire nippers so you don't get any glue on your fingers. Okay, cause it'll seep through. All right, and we're gonna put this to the side. So we can uh, now start on our wreath. So what we're going to start on is we're going to start on our petals. So once you've got your mesh cut, you one of your rolls, you will have um, one roll completely empty. You're going to use the cardboard tube from that roll. Okay, that's going to help us make our petals. You're going to take a piece of your 10 inch mesh. All right, we're going to use this curl up. Curl up means that it, when you rock it back and forth, it's curl up. This is curled down. And I will indicate when we are doing petals or folds, whether it's curl up or curl down. For this particular one, it's curl up. We're going to turn it into a diamond shape. So when you put it down in front of you, it looks like a diamond. Okay. And you want to make sure that the factory finished edges are at the top left and the bottom right for every petal. And this is good practice to always uh, do this. Uh, then it's a no brainer for any petal you're making because sometimes it does really matter um, where the factory edge is. So if you train yourself to always do the same way, then you, it, you don't have to think about it. Okay, so you're gonna take your cardboard tube, put it down on the bottom corner of your diamond, just like that in the middle of the cardboard tube and just roll to the other corner like that. Okay. Hold. There's the corner. You're going to hold right there and just slide out the tube. Okay. You're going to give this end a little tug, never letting go of the center here because then um, you'll have to redo it. All right. And then you're going to put it on the table and we're going to flip it up just like that okay and when you flip it up you're we're measuring that the both sides are the same length okay and to adjust the length you just move the middle down here to adjust your length to get to the right size okay and then once you got this 
finished, then you're going to take your fully loaded, I still have to do here, but you can see everything is loaded. Um, you'll see it looks like stitching. You're going to take the end of that petal, and you can see how big it's getting already. I did start this already, uh, because this is a very easy project, but it's a bit time consuming. But the end results are absolutely gorgeous. You are going to take and put your nub end with the, you can see it looks like a cone and it's like a, got a cutout on here. I like to put the cutout part facing the bottom so it's the full petal is the good side. It's facing the top. You're going to take the end of your nub, put it into your zip tie, about a half an inch or a, a, a fingertip. Now I do have a small finger, so it's about a half an inch. Push down on that nub and then do your zip tie up, okay? And you can cut your zip ties as you're going along or you can do all of row two and then just go along and snip them all. That is the fastest way to do it. So you're not um, having to constantly put your tool down, pick it up, put it down, pick it up, okay? So we're gonna make another, again, curl up, factory edge, top left of our diamond and our bottom right. Put your tube, cardboard tube onto your mesh and just roll from corner to corner. Holding, when you're done, make sure you hold on to that corner there. Slide that tube out. Don't let go of the center. Give this a little tug. Give that a little tug. Put it on the table. Flip it up. We're making sure they're the same length. And again, going in and putting the nub into the zip tie about a half an inch and do that zip tie up. So we, and we want to make sure each of the petals are just side by side so there's no gaps. Okay. Um, another way you can do it to help yourselves out is you can go to the dollar store. In the hair section, there is these little clear rubber bands. I love to use these. Um, you can pre-make your petals. So you can pre-make all these, throw them in a plastic bag, into a box, into a laundry basket, whatever. Um, and that way, when you're done rolling all your petals and you've uh, rubber band them, you just shove them right into the zip ties. And to do that, you just take your mesh and do your petal, just like you were gonna do if you're just sticking it into the zip tie. Tug, tug, flip, and then once you're adjusted and they're both the same length, you're going to take one of these little rubber bands and just put it around the nub here. Okay, and then you can just toss this into a bag or a box or whatever and pre-make all your petals just like that. So we'll do a couple more. And again, we need 56 of them. Unless you're gonna do row three, you need another 56 plus eight, so. Now these rubber bands, your customer, or you will not see it in the flower. And uh, they eventually will just disintegrate and you'll never see them again, but it's just to help um, help with uh, speeding up the process of making the flower. And I like to do this while I'm watching TV, so I, put, uh, I have a little tiny, you know, 12 inch cutting mat that I put on my lap. So I will cut all my mesh and put it into a pile like this, bring it all upstairs, sit in my recliner and watch a movie, and roll my petals on my lap and toss them into a laundry basket. That's why I said a laundry basket because that's what I use a lot. And then you can then you can also preload your board. 
sitting watching the movie or your show, the only thing you'll need to do at your table pretty much is cut your mesh. Okay, so I'm gonna finish preloading this row too. So down and up. And you'll see how fast, once you have your petals made, how fast um, the process goes. And even though this looks like a very, well, it is a very extravagant wreath, it's very easy. It's a, it's a beginner wreath. And um, it's just a little time consuming because it is so big. However, it's not hard. All right, so we're preloaded and now we got some of our petals and we're just gonna stick it in and I just kind of zip tie it right around. I push that down a little bit so we don't have so much bulk. And that's a reason why I skip row three because sometimes it gets really bulky and I, I really don't like the bulk. But um, it, when you do row three, it does make it a bit fuller. And you're just going to stick in your petals. And I just zip tie where I, I put the elastic band or the rubber band. And you just want to make sure each of them are lined up so there's no gaps. All right, there is row two completed. And this is a very large flower wreath. It will be about 30 inches if you add the green. Now, some people don't like to add the green color because it is so large and in charge. It's beautiful. Uh, this would be great to put on a house. You can put it on your door as well because you will be able to see it from the Space Center. <laughs> um, great on a fence. It's just really, really pretty. So you're going to go around and snip off all these zip tie tails. I have a little container because these are recyclable. All right, so that is row two. Now we're going to, we skipped row three. We're going to work on row four, doing the exact same thing. Now we're going on to row five. Now with row five, you want, don't want to cover these two holes in the center. That is the two holes where the pipe cleaner on our flower center is going to go down.
Okay, we're going to snip these off. And we're going to go around and make sure everything is in place. And we don't see any of the board or any of the zip ties. Okay, and then once you got that done, you're going to take your center and you're going to put one pipe cleaner through one hole, the other through the other hole, lifting up your board so you can access the hole. And I'm grabbing the pipe cleaner in the back, pull it down. And we're going to flip that over. Alrighty, and until you feel some resistance and then give it a twist. Okay, cut the excess pipe cleaner off and we are going back down that hole to keep our, our board nice and neat. So you have a nice, nice, neat back. Um, when I'm, I've got it flipped over, I like to make sure that all my petals are indeed lined up and there's no gaps. All right, and we're gonna put a hanger on it. Right here is two holes that are close together on row one. You're gonna go take a pipe or a zip tie, go down and back up. Do your zip tie up so you hear a zipping. Keep it fairly large. And then just cut off the excess tail to lock it. So that's what we're gonna use for a hanger. And look at this, how it's huge. It's stunning. Stunning. This mesh is so pretty. Now you may want to go around and um, snip off any uh, uh, strings that you see. And again, making sure that all you go around and make sure all your petals are pulled out and not uh, wonky and that you don't see any spots or any zip ties. Okay, now you can add green. Um, even though it's absolutely gorgeous like it is, we, we, I have included, we are gonna use some green. And you can use, there's, we're gonna use row one. You can put as many green petals on as you wish or as little. So we are gonna use the outside row. And I like to do this kind of upside down. So I'm gonna take my zip tie and just, I'm just picking a hole. So there's the top. So I'm going over two, two holes. So just load your pipe cleaner or your zip tie just like that. So it's sitting in the hole because um, we are going to go around the outside of the board and the hole with our zip tie. Now you've cut 10 and a half inch pieces of this green mesh. And to make the leaf petal, you can just roll it just like this and uh, the green will peek out. Um, we might have to do this because normally I do a leaf petal with the diamond shape curl down into the diamond, left side with this surged top and the bottom right, and you just scrunch from corner or pleat, dragging your thumb and your forefingers up to the top corner, and you get like a leaf type formation like this. Okay, now this is the good side of the leaf, and this is the bad side because we can see the cut. What you're gonna do is flip it up Again, just make sure the boat, both are about the same length. Okay, and this again is the good side. So I, because I'm working on the back, I'm putting the good part facing the, the table. And I'm going to put it just on to the gold mesh. And then I'm gonna come around 
with my zip tie. And then what you're going to do is just push this center of the green, just push it down so it's sitting on the inside of the board and then tighten it up. Now this, like I suspected, this petal, let's see, may not be long enough. However, it may look really nice with just a little bit of green peeking out. Oh, it does. So you can, hopefully you can see that. Let me put some white underneath. Do I have anything white? Yes. So you can see the green leaf coming out there. So like you can do as many as you want. We'll do a few. Um, I did get you guys to cut eight. So <clears throat> what you can do is do every other hole uh, going around with the eight. So again, your zip tie in. And when you're doing this, make sure your zip tie uh, head, the flat part is facing towards the ceiling. So you're not fussing with it when you finish your, your leaf. Curl down. Again, this is curl up. This is curl down. Use this so you guys can see better. Diamond shape. Surge edge, top left, bottom right. And we're going from the bottom, pinching and dragging to the top corner. Okay, now you wouldn't want to do this on uh, petals and stuff like this on a tablecloth because um, as you can see when you're scrunching, your tablecloth will get caught into your mesh. So I'm going to flip it over so the bad side is facing up. Going, putting my zip tie around and then once I got it in I'm tucking this center just so it's on the board like that and tighten it up and then once you get the leaves on we can pull all these strings or you can actually heat seal or wood burn for this petal if the uh, strings are going to drive you crazy Now, if you want to see more of the green, then you would you could do just the same um, petal as the rolled petal as you did uh, for the gold. Sure they're all pulled out now if you do want to flatten the green so because you can see it kind of curls it will eventually flatten against when it's on the door but if you want to flatten it before you put it on the door you can put some books on it overnight the books so if you flip this over oh look at that um, you can just put a, some books on those green petals and leave it overnight, so put it on all the way around. And then when you take the book off in the morning, your, your mesh will be nice and flat and almost framing your flower. So you can see how just big and beautiful this is. It is with the green. Now I'm gonna go around and cut these strings. I'll do that. I usually do that when I'm going to take the photograph on the on the door and everything. And we are looking at about, like I said, I think it was going to be about 30. And I was correct. So the tip of the green is at 30 inches. I can't even zoom in. There we go. So you can see the whole thing. 
Anyways, big, big, beautiful flower. Definitely make a statement on your door. The sun will hit this and it will shine like nobody's business. And don't be uh, surprised if somebody knocks on your door, because I've had it many times, asking where you got your wreath. And that's when you say, oh, I can make you one. <laughs> All right, I hope you enjoyed this. Uh, make sure you subscribe to our YouTube channel um, so you're notified whenever a new tutorial is put up onto our channel. And uh, thanks for joining me. Bye, everybody.